One of the most frequent questions asked by young people thriving to have careers, struggling to have careers, and often as well by interviewers who are writing articles about our, our lives is, how does one make a career? How does one start a career? How does one know uh, when one is talented enough to have a career? And it, really, if there were any formula at all, if there were any few formulas, I'd have them photocopied, passed out, and, and make sure that uh, the young people that are truly out there giving their all to, to become successful singers would have to use as a guideline. But there isn't. If you were to talk to 20 different singers, you'd have 25 different ways of having a career and approaches to a career. Uh, you're talking about several things, first of all. You're talking about the degree of natural talent. You're talking about the training. You're talking about the possibilities, what's available out there, what period of, are you living in with the supply and demand. You're talking about um, what's going on in the world, because that affects what happens in the arts so much, as I think we all know. So where do you start, and, and why am I interested particularly in uh, having a school for young people? Because if we don't help those that are coming along, we can't use what we've learned to service them, and they'll do make the same mistakes over and over again, which they'll make anyway, because young you do make similar mistakes, but that's the part of living. You, you do that, you get up, you get up off the ground, and you go again. But we should at least be able to help in the areas where we might have been helped more had we done certain things. Let's not talk about natural talent, because the voice, first of all, is subjective. That's most important. You, one person will like one sound, another person will like another sound. But let's say, having agreed that the sound is that's a good talent, how do you train it? If you're going to train it in a university, if the voice privately or in a university situation. I say university because I personally don't believe that children before a certain age should uh, start studying a voice for a career. They might sing. I mean, I sang in church all of my life and loved it. Didn't know what I was doing, uh, but sang uh, happily. And perhaps that helped in that there was no fear of being in front of people, uh, that, that uh, it was a part of your life. So it, it was not scary for me after learning, uh, to finding out that I was going to be a professional singer to get up in front of an audience and perform. Okay. Um, but if they're going to go privately, or if they're going to take the school road, how much money do they have to invest in a career? You know, that, that's, people forget the, how expensive it is to be a performer in, the, in, the, uh, in opera and concert.